Dave, a, a nil-nil draw at home to Kings Lynn. Uh, what's your take on it? Well, I thought it was an exciting. I thought it was exciting. I think um, to be fair to them, they, they've changed their system, which caught us out a little bit at the start of the game. Um, I thought once we'd weathered that, the, the second half of the first half, we get into the game done well. I thought we started the second half really well. Had had lots of great chances, balls across the box, in and around the box. And, and I thought we just needed a goal at that time, you know. Um, uh, in saying that, towards the end of the game, Oxo's made one of the best saves I've seen for seasons, you know. And I thought he was right back to his best, which is, which I think is good for everybody. So, uh, as much as we feel we should have won it, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll feel the same. So, um, when you both feel like that, maybe a draw is the right result. Yeah, you've sort of touched on it. There was plenty of chance for both sides, and it was a bit of an entertaining nil-nil. Uh, do you feel like a, a draw is a fair result? Uh, yeah, I think in the end, uh, you know, the first goal is massive in, in, in games, in any game, but in games like this, when it's sort of, I, I'd imagine there's a neutral, it was a good game to watch, because they, they came here and tried to win. We've tried to win. We've both had ample opportunities to score goals. There's no denying that. I, I would say we'd maybe six, seven good chances. I think they had three or four really good ones where Oxford's made sort of good saves. So when you analyse that, I think I think you have to come to the conclusion, if you're honest with yourself, a draw is probably the right result. Do you want to drop points at home? No, absolutely not. But you know, the only thing we can ask of footballers is to give everything they've got phys- physically. And, and, I, and I thought we did that. And... I'd have, I'd have liked us to score the gold when we were on top, but then everybody says that, you know. But it, 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 lots of lots of positive scores, really. You know, it must have been frustrating to, to get the get the ball in the right areas and go cl- go uh, close so many times. But it obviously, it didn't quite fall, and it didn't, the goal didn't quite come for us. What do you think that was down to, maybe? Well, it's, it's just it's the, the last final decision. The you know, a couple of times it was a little bobble. There's times when people make the wrong choice. It's the easiest game in the world when you're sitting in a dugout or in a stand, you know, but the lads are out there trying to make the right choice. And, you know, I think it was one of them nights that if, if one team scored one, it could have been a 4-3, you know, it had that about it. But as the game gets on and it gets into the later stages of it, then it becomes a bit nervy for both sides. But I, 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 why did we score a goal? I think I think you just have to take one of the chances you create, you know, and and, and we didn't do that. A, a clean sheet at home is, is yeah. always a good thing to, to be building on to. A clean sheet anywhere is something to build on to. I think, you know, to I think we'll a little bit agreed where we've done well to pick a point up at, um, at Torquay Saturday and we, we wanted to back that up with three points tonight. But this is a difficult league and there's no gimmies. And um, we have to accept what we got. And as I say to you, you know, I'm not saying we should have won the game 4 0 and we were by far the better side. I thought we had enough chances to win the game, but I also know that that Oxo pulled off one of the best saves, as, as I've said, I've seen for a while. And and you know, it's we 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 wouldn't expect them to have to make those sort of saves, you know, where the guy gets in one on one that late in the game. But but the positive of of that is he he looked back to his best today. We seem to have quite a lot of uh, chances at the start of second halves lately. Do you, do you think that might be down to like a mentality thing, or is that just something you, you've been uh, working on no, and, and well, saying you, at the break? You, well, you're trying to get sort of information on from the touchline, like Dean and and, and and John mainly are getting information, and it's sometimes difficult to get what you want, the, the actual thing, until you get in a half time, and a half time covered that. And to be fair, the lads took the information. Well, I thought second, the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half. If we score then, I think we do go on and win it, you know. Um, and it was our best period. But uh, you can't dominate anybody for 90 minutes in this league, in any league. And, um, you know, as I say, I, I would acknowledge that they were well in the game at times as well. Rhys Gregor Cox and, and Ross Marshall both made their, their home debuts tonight. What, what did you make of their performances? Well, I, yes, I, I like them both. I, um, I, I didn't get to travel at the weekend. So it was not Torquay. So it's the first time I've seen. I've seen him in training, obviously this week, and seen him live. And I like him, you know. And, and I think Ross can play centre half or hold a midfield player. And I was, I was speaking to Coxie. Coxie's now played two games in three days or whatever, four days, and he hasn't played for two years or something like that. So he, for him to come through, that's big. Uh, Ross had a bit of cramp salary because again, a lack of minutes. So I spoke to him coming off the pitch. He feels better and stronger. 
Um, and obviously, Louis Walsh is, is chomping at the bit to get in as well. So we've a, a good bit of competition and, and like um, Rob Hall and uh, Pauli, Wes, you know, you look at our, our bench tonight and it's um, it, it's stronger and really strong in forward areas. You know, what do we need? We need a couple of our defenders back fit. And and then I think our squad's not bad. Kean came off at the, uh, at the break. What was that down to? He rolled his ankle. I haven't got to speak to him yet. Just hope it's not the same one that, he, that he's rolled a couple of times. But that's what it was. It was his ankle. Um, but as I say, I haven't seen him. I just came out to, to speak to you and he's on the treatment table. So we hope it's not it's not a sort of three or four week thing again. But I, I'd imagine we won't really know the outcome of that until sort of tomorrow, Thursday. Our sports kept, kept chanting right yeah, right yeah, until yeah. the end and it was for, for, must have been frustrating for, for you guys that we uh, we couldn't find that, that, that winning goal right at the end. Yeah, and for them. And I feel, you know, you, you feel... But it, look... You, you, you know, I think it's a, it's a statement that Dean makes and, and, I, and I like it. He says that it's our job to give the supporters something to shout about. And um, I thought in the whole, we did that tonight outside of scoring a goal. I thought they, they'll they go away entertained, although hurting because we often taken three points. And, um, you know, so, I, yes, they were with us all night tonight. And um, I know they were with the lads on Saturday. And the, the supporters are supporters of an honesty about them. They give you, They give you what they feel, you know. And I could tell tonight that they felt we were okay, but they're a little bit frustrated as we as we all are. And, and on Saturday we travel up to, to Halifax, which might be a slightly different test given where they are in the uh, in the league table. Yes, but you know this division, you know, you, you can affect every game in this division. I know we've gone away for, to the top guys in recent weeks and not sort of performed as well as we want the tour should have. So it gives us a chance to rectify that. You know, it's a different game. We'll um, with the rest of the week to prepare for it. But the games, you know, as a footballer, they're the games you want to play in. You want to play against the teams at the top of the league at their place and see what you're about. And um, I have no doubt that we'll go and listen. Our players, more than most, I'd say, maybe a couple of occasions this season have, have given us physically everything they can give us. We need that to happen again Saturday.